We'd like to introduce to you our technology for the production of turquoise hydrogen and high-value carbon materials. While hydrogen is considered as one of the solutions to CO2-free mobility, and there is a significantly growing demand for hydrogen in the world, hydrogen is also a much-needed catalyst for ammonia production, oil refining and methanol production, and these three processes currently make up the majority of uses for hydrogen production. 90 to 95 percent of the hydrogen produced in the world in 2022 was gained from natural gas reforming. Steam methane reforming produces 9 kilograms of CO2 for every 1 kilogram of hydrogen and adding carbon capture increases significantly energy input. Electrolysis does not produce CO2 but uses 50 kilowatt hour of energy per 1 kilogram of hydrogen and 1 kilogram hydrogen only gives 33 kilowatt hours of energy, so wastes 35% of the original input power. Annually, billions of cubic meters of natural gas are flared around the globe. According to the International Energy Agency, eliminating routine venting and flaring of natural gas could significantly contribute to avoiding further global temperature increase. A promising alternative to these processes is thermal plasma pyrolysis of the methane, which is a process there are no CO2 emissions, has a better energy balance than conventional methods, generate high value carbon nanomaterials, enable hydrogen productions anywhere on demand, and if the biomethane is the feedstock, the process carbon footprint will be negative. At the IPP, we have been working on the development of the technology for this process since 2018. Today, the plasma system located in the IPP, that is one of the largest experimental facility of its kind in the world. Torque's hydrogen market value will reach more than $140 billion in 2031, achieving an annual growth rate over 200%. But the process does not only create the hydrogen, but also high value carbon nanomaterials. The next step is building a demonstration plant, technology optimization and long-term testing. It will cost between 30 and 50 million of Czech crowns. It will process 20 to 30 kilograms of methane per hour. It will produce 5 to 7 kilograms of hydrogen per hour and 15 to 20 kilograms of carbon nanomaterial. Plasma input electricity will be around 100 kilowatt hour and process efficiency will be more than 80%. We are currently looking for partners to accelerate the commercialization of our technology. Thank you.